zodiac, but my cancer is, and it says that um, I'm supposed to be emotional, so. <laughs> such a fine alumni weekend. Uh, congratulate all the other uh, inductees, uh, especially my, my family and friends who have traveled uh, near and far to uh, support me on this day. Uh, coaches uh, Joe Shelley, Mark Jackson, and uh, Al Berry, especially uh, my teammates, because uh, you know without them, you know I wouldn't have RBIs. And uh, a lot of my accomplishments today, um, you know, where did it start? Um, Scott Perrin, who I uh, hold the uh, single season uh, home run record with, uh, he asked me to come out and try out, you know, so I wasn't offered a scholarship right at the beginning or, you know, in Canada, you don't really get that many uh, letter of intents. You're either, you know, drafted or you play hockey. <laughs> I can't stand up on skates, so that, that wasn't an option, but, you know, growing up through high school, I, I never would have thought that, uh, you know, baseball would, would carry me this far. So, I tried out, and, uh, you know, Joe Shalley gave me that opportunity, and, uh, you know, the rest is history. Um, you know, you can look at my stats. And, uh, you know, all that's going to tell you that, you know, I was a good player, great player. Um, I'm, I'm actually still kind of shocked with it because I, I didn't, I, I knew that I had the home run record and, you know, the RBIs, but all the other stuff, you know, it, it, it didn't really matter to me. It was all about the win and the, uh, the opportunity to play baseball. Um, but aside all that, um, Just the the life lessons learned on the field, the experiences I, that I that I had here at Point Park, truly was a part of who I am today. Um, you know, there was a lot of life lessons that we learned. You know, in '97, Shelley got released, and uh, at that time, there was only 12 of us. We didn't even know where the, the fate of baseball was going at that time. But, uh, you know, we had 12 of us, and, uh, you know, Mark Jackson came in. So, so right away, looking back at it, you know, adversity was, was huge. Um, you know, living life now, you know, you need a strong family foundation to uh, overcome adversity. And uh, our team, we were tight. You know, uh, all our home games were away games, traveling over an hour. Uh, practices were 45 minutes away. Now, I remember going out to Bloomfield, shoveling the uh, turf under the bridge mm -hmm. to, uh, to have practice and get ready to go to Florida. Um, you know, but, you know, through all that, we, we were that family unit. And uh, that was a big part of our society success so you know adversity is uh, definitely a, a life lesson learned uh, goal setting you know Jackson's talks about short-term goals long-term goals you know when he had come in he introduced uh, himself to us 12 guys and, and the first thing he said was we're going to the World Series you know we looked at each other and he's like this guy crazy there's 12 of us here you know you need at least 20 guys to compete and uh, you know, looking back at it now, um, even like yesterday, uh, I was with the team and Coach Torres, you know, they said too, you know, that's their goal, to make it to the World Series. And, you know, we kind of changed it yesterday. We said, you know, no, we got to win it. Because, you know, we were 40, 
six and four going into the World Series. And, you know, our goal is to get there. We got there, and then we're two and out. So, for you current players that are here, Coach Torres, I know it's a lot of pressure, but, you know, we did it, but you gotta take it one step further, and you gotta win it. So, uh, you know, goal setting was another life lesson. Um, strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, no matter how successful you are in life, there's always room for improvement. Jackson, you know, I remember in scrimmages, uh, he would never pitch it over the plate outside. He'd always throw it inside, and surprisingly enough, I couldn't hit the inside pitch. And, and he told me, he's like, if you want to be in this lineup, you better hit that pitch. And, uh, you know, obviously, the records show it, or the, the accolades, but, um, you know, most importantly, when we played games, we went 20 to five, and, you know, after we talk, and he would be harping on us about all the things that we never did right, and, you know, we couldn't really understand because we were winning games, and he basically said, you know what, you guys could have won by 30 runs. You know, there's always room for improvement. We would go back to our hotel room in the parking lot, and bunt for 45 minutes, you know, and, and it was just, you know, we never really, we kind of complained, but, you know, looking back at it, it's it's definitely, you know, a life lesson, you know, you, you, you can be successful in a lot of things, but there's always, always room for improvement. Um, one pitch at a time, you know, we try to tackle a lot of things. Um, in life, and uh, you know, I live day by day. You can't get ahead of yourself. You can't try and save the world. And uh, you know, in baseball, he told us like, you know, whenever it was loaded bases or if we needed two runs, he's just like, you know what? You gotta slow down. It only takes one pitch. You know, and and it's true. You know, you you can't score a run until he throws the ball, right? You know, I can't hit five pitches at one time, it, it, just, it just takes that one pitch, so, you know, one pitch at a time is, is a good one to live by, you know, I, day by day, it's just, you know, um, take it as it comes, um, and, you know, the biggest one for me would be probably uh, focus on performance rather than result, you know, I, I, I played hard every day, and uh, my ultimate goal was to make it, but, you know, it didn't happen. But the result um, was about these lessons learned. They're they're a big part of who I am, and, and you know that's those are the character traits that I you know I live by. Um, Got to thank my family. Um, you know, um, without them, obviously, I wouldn't be here. My extended family. Um, I have lifelong friends now. You guys know who you are. You know, I met my wife here, Kelly, who was a dancer here. This beautiful lady over there sitting by the table. Um, you know, and uh, I have two beautiful kids, Dante and Kaya, five and three. And uh, for sure, like, with these lessons, I'll definitely pass on to them so that they're prepared to uh, encounter any challenges they may come across in life. So, again, I want to thank Point Park, um, everybody who had nominated me, and uh, you know it's you know baseball is a humbling sport, and this is truly uh, a humbling experience. So I want to thank everybody, and that's it.